Uh, greetings, greetings, everyone. It's Mr. Shajwao here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing now, we are looking at our statistical reasoning, uh, which is uh, from what uh, this is uh, September. This is the September 2019 paper, which was uh, written. Now we are still looking at statistics and we are still trying to find out in terms of how can we go about, you know, answering uh, questions, different past papers, onward on statistical reasoning now let's look at this one they say now mr uh limbete asked each of his grade 10 mathematics class how many minutes of uh the homework they do each day he then drew this in a box and use a diagram for the information that he obtained now so the first question is they want us to find out what is going to be the median of this data now to think of it uh, when we speak of a median, we are saying our median. Uh, remember the median, it's the what? It's our Q2. And when we draw our box and whisker diagram, right? This part represents the minimum value. This one represents your Q1. Uh, this one represents your Q2. This is your Q3. And also this is going to be the maximum value. Okay. So which means in this case, your median, right? Your median in this case is between uh, it's found between uh twenty and forty, which is going to what, which is then going to be equal to thirty. Oh, it's okay. So basically, that is going to be your what your median. Now, uh, which is going to be three point one point one. Now, when you look at three point one point two, now they are saying, uh, what percentage of the student who uh do more than fifty minutes of the homework each day. Right. So now they want us to check in terms of how many learners that do their homework, uh, which is going to be more than 50 uh, minutes. So we are going to say 50 is here. right? So which means this is going to be 50 and the maximum it's 80. So which means you're going to say here 80 subtract 50 minutes. What is that you're going to get? This is same as what? This is same as 30. Right. So when you say 30. So what is it then that you're going to say from here? You're going to say 30 over 80 multiplied by 100 so that you can get the percentage, right? So you are saying 30 uh, divide by 80, then you multiply it by 100 to get the percentage of these learners. Then it's only 37, what? 37,5% of the learners who do their, right? Who do their homework for more than 50 minutes. Oh, it's okay. So basically that is going to be uh, that one. If you look at your 3.2.1, uh, now they want us to calculate what is going to be the range of this data. And we all know, we all know that uh, whenever we are looking for the range, the range is always given by what? It's always given by the maximum value subtracts the minimum value, right? And what is going to be the maximum value here? Remember, I've already stated that your, uh, your maximum value is going to be 18. And if you can look at these carefully, Right, your minimum value is going to be found somewhere around four, right? So which means this is going to be four, and then when you say eight is subtract four, then you are going to end up with what? You are going to end up with seventy six. All together, so that's going to be then your range of this particular data. And then your three point two point two. Now here they want us to find out what is going to be your IQR. Then your interquartile range here is going to be given by what? Uh, now it's given. It's always given by your Q three subtract your q1 so and then what is going to be your q3 in this case your q3 it is given by 50 and your q1 is given by what by 20 which means your interquartile range for this particular uh, question is going to be given by what it's going to be given by 8 oh it's okay so uh, now this is how we you know we we normally solve these types of question whenever you are given right hopefully this one makes sense and thank you very much for listening